Hey, how's it going? I want to have some fun today. Why don't we go to a rescue center and meet some Dobermans? Come on. We made it. All right, guys, real quick before we head inside, there's a reason why we're at a Doberman Rescue Center today. I realize on my channel, I've done a lot um, as far as uh, making sure that, that you guys know which breeder resources and directories to use, what questions to ask, and kind of the process for screening breeders to find a good quality breeder for your next Doberman pup. But one thing I've neglected is uh, focusing in on rescue centers, and that's really a shame because these rescue centers have just phenomenal family pets, and a lot of them are Doberman specific rescue centers such as this one that specialize in Dobermans, and there's a lot of great Doberman pups just waiting for their next family to come and find them. So let's try not to get hyper-focused on just breeders. There's a big world out there and a lot of Dobermans sitting in rescue centers waiting for their family. So um, let's get inside, let's see the dogs that they have. I'm really excited. We'll also learn a little bit about the process for rescuing one of these dogs. Hi Ann, it's John. Hi, John. So glad to meet you. Hi, I've nice heard a lot about you, and I'm really delighted to meet you. Thank you. I brought along all my subscribers, too. We'll do an elbow bump. Hi, subscribers. <laughs> Welcome to Dog Mountain Rescue. This is uh, this is Anne. Like she said, she uh, runs Dog Mountain Rescue here in Northern California. It's a Doberman Rescue Center. We're only a few hours north of San Francisco. And uh, Anne, I would love to see your place here. Would you mind showing me your dogs? Love to. All right. Great. Let's go. Let's go. I'll follow you.
And thank you so much for showing me around your beautiful dogs. I really appreciate it. Um, I, me and Ann talked before this interview and she said she's okay with me not having my mask on. We're still doing our best to maintain social distancing here, but you're comfortable with that. Is that correct, Ann? I am, and I'm very happy to welcome you here. I love to show our dogs off and I really appreciate your coming. Thank you so much. And so why did you get started in this uh, rescue business and specifically uh, Dobermans? Well, I have had a Doberman, at least one, all my adult life. And and um, I had a friend in Northern California who actually went to high school with me, and uh, she got me interested in the rescuing aspect of it. That's great. And I mean, I love your dogs here. You got quite a few of them, though. How many do you have? Well, it varies. We have, uh, we have more now than, than we've had for a while, but we had a bunch of adoptions, and they're, they're needy dogs all over. How many Dobermans do you have now? Between 20 and 25. Wow. That's a good number. So how often do you adopt out these dogs? How, how frequently does that happen? That varies a lot. It just depends on what the demand is at the time. We had a bit of a rush right as the pandemic started, but that's kind of died down. Uh, everybody wanted a dog and not all of them really um, should have a Doberman. Right, yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that the pandemic caused a kind of a rush on dogs for a while there. Um, and do you, do you get people coming from far and wide or are they just mainly local people or who adopts these dogs? Well, mostly it is local, Northern California, Southern Oregon, Nevada, Washington. Uh, but we have had one who uh, lived in Hawaii, came over, adopted a dog, made all the arrangements, took the dog back to Hawaii, everything. Since then, they've come back to the United States and they live in Florida and they have the dog. And we did adopt one from uh, uh, to Idaho. Oh, okay. And so if someone was willing to travel to you, then that would be fine. You'd consider them as oh, a ab owner. Absolutely. But we like to have people come so we can see how they interact with the dog. Right. Because uh, we do not ship. Right. And so if, if they come and everything looks good, then they go home with the dog that night. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I, I'm personally not a fan of ever shipping dogs myself. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm right there with you on that. So there's a lot of viewers on my channel who are looking to bring a Doberman into their family environment. And um, why would they possibly consider getting a Doberman from a rescue center versus the standard route of going to a breeder? Well, that depends to a great extent on what they want to do with the dog. If they want to show the dog, they'd have to get a dog from a, a breeder because then it would come with AKC registration papers oh. and it can join AKC events, the, uh, uh, the beauty contest, the agility, the obedience all of the AKC's events, and they, they have a lot of them. If they just want a pet, a rescue could uh, provide them with a nice dog. Okay, so if they have no interest in showing the dog, then it would make sense to consider a rescue. Yes, and a lot of times though, you get a rescue and then you decide, now next my next dog will be a show dog. Uh, okay. So is there any dogs here with um, maybe a, a unique backstory that kind of stands out in your mind? Well, they all sort of have unique ones, but one that comes to mind right now is a very nice red girl we have named Berta. And Berta came in with one of the worst ear crops we'd ever seen. It turns out that her owner had wanted her ears cropped and she was way too old to have that done. But they found a, a, a doctor, a vet who would do it and it, it just ruined the appearance of the dog. But she couldn't be a sweeter dog. She's a wonderful dog, her how, name is Berta. Berta, how old was Berta when that ear crop happened? Probably about three. Wow, yeah. And they should be done by 12 to 14 weeks. Yeah, that's much too old. So if someone decides that they really wanna bring a Doberman, maybe from a rescue into their family, or at least consider that, what are the first steps uh, to match up an owner with their future family member? When they, uh, they go to my website, which is dogmountainrescue.org, okay. they can see a picture of all the dogs that we have. And our explanation is really very brief on what they are, but if they like the picture, then they can contact me and say, I'm interested in uh, Megan or Otto and tell me a little bit about themselves. I'll write back to them, fill out our application. Let's get to know each other. Let's talk about what you want. Let's see what we can find for you. Okay, and you're, so you're very active in the process of kind of matching them up, making sure it's a good fit. And, and what happens if they kind of, they, let's say down the road something unforeseen happens and they've adopted one of your dogs. Is there anything they can do? We ask that the dog be returned to us. In fact, it's in our contract. You don't give the dog back to another shelter. You don't give it to your best friend. So a lot of times we will approve of that if we know about it, but we need to be notified because the dog comes back to us by the contract. I love that you care enough to want your dogs back. In my mind, that's a really good sign. You have a lot of fabulous dogs here, and that's dogmountainrescue.org, right? Yes. Okay. 
So I do want to make it clear that obviously the dogs that are here are changing all the time. And if you see one here that you're interested in, um, it, it may not necessarily be available because they are coming and going a lot. Is that is that true, Ann? Yeah, it is. So, but I do want to urge you to consider your local rescue. There are doberman rescues all around, and um, there's also other rescues. Where else might they go? The big rescue. Uh is Dobies and Little Paws down in Southern California. Oh, yes. And they do a fantastic job with, with placing dogs. They get in a tremendous number of them. They make good placements. Uh, if you live in the Southern California area, that might be a place to try too. Dobies and Little Paws. Well, Ann, it's been a real pleasure meeting you today. And thank you so much for showing us around uh, and your beautiful dogs here. I kind of fell in love with uh, more than one of them, but um, <laughs> I kind of expected that. But thank you so much for having us. Well, thank you for coming. I've heard great things about you and your, your site and all, and I was just delighted that you asked to come. Thank you. <sighs> that was fun. Now, Anne with Dog Mountain Rescue, which was formerly known as Northern California Doberman Rescue, really does some amazing work taking in dogs that just have nowhere else to go and finding good, loving homes for them. There are some really fantastic Dobermans there. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this trip today. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below and take a minute, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon that comes up next to it. And uh, you and I can keep learning about this amazing breed of dog that is just so unique together. Thank you so much for watching guys. And of course, I'll see you next time.